Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my go-to date makeup. This makeup look helps me bring out exactly how I want to feel on a date. So cute and confident and put together and it also makes me feel soft and feminine and this look also combines a few different elements, some from natural makeups as well as classic glam makeups. So if that sounds good to you, then keep on watching. <laughs> So for my base, I'm going to be going in with the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum in two shades because I'm kind of in between these two. So I'm using the shades 30 and 50. So I'm going to take a pump of each. Two pumps of this product is kind of my sweet spot. And I like applying this product with the MAC 170 brush. So I usually take some on the back of my hand. I pop all of the spheres get them activated, and then I'll apply it in downward strokes. That's the perfect shade match. I've been preferring a skin tint over a foundation just because it feels a little bit more breathable, especially with the warmer weather kicking in. And I like how it's a bit more adjustable once I add concealer. I would prefer to have kind of a thinner base overall. And I really like how this skin tint is very blurring, but it also adds a really pretty sheen to my skin at the same time. I think it's very softening, and that's how I kind of want to feel. I just want to feel soft. <laughs> Anyways, now for my concealer. My favorite has been this one, the Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. It's just been sitting on my skin so nicely. It's very, very thin, but it packs a lot of coverage, which I love those types of formulas. So I'm a little bit more generous in the application of this. I kind of throw it on all over my under eyes. I forgot to dampen my sponge, but I'm using my Kosas sponge to pat this out. And honestly, it's okay that I didn't dampen my sponge because the Rose Ink Skin Tint can kind of get funny if it gets rehydrated after it's set. So I think this actually worked out. And that's where we're left. I'm okay with the few imperfections that are showing through. Sometimes I go in and spot correct, but I'm, I'm okay with this. I think my skin looks really, really nice. So now to... Oh my god, non-stop interruptions. And now I'm going to set that concealer using my Cherry Blossom Powder from Huda Beauty. And I'm just going to use it on my Kosas sponge I was just using, just to make it easier. I feel like that mirror is too big. It was kind of blocking the light. But here's my base. I just kind of pressed that powder into my concealer there. I'm just going to add a little bit more just for brightening effects. But yes, I have been seeing someone for over a month now. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm afraid to jinx it. <laughs> That's what I've been telling my family members, but he's really cute. We're going to BAMF together next weekend. So most of my stuff is already packed away. So I'm using different brushes for different purposes today. I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Indus Sun Powder Bronzer today. And I'm using this BK Beauty 111 brush. Wow, angel numbers everywhere. And I love this tone. It's such a nice combination of like a contour color and a bronzer in one. And I like how light it is. It doesn't define my face too much. It's just like the perfect amount. It just makes everything look like one. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like it's not harsh. It's not harsh like a lot of other bronzers can be. And there's no change in my application here. I'm applying it like I do every single day. But you see how nice that color is? It's like obviously visible, but it's not obstructing anything. Like it's not distracting. And the powder itself has such a nice softness and blurring quality to it. It's just exactly what I want. I'm now going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. You know how I am with highlighters. Some days I just don't go in with it, but I have been slowly falling in love with the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush Glow in the shade Tiara. It's actually so nice. I like to take some on the back of my hand because I find that going in directly with this adds way too much so I like to take some with my finger and then I just pat over the air the air and then I pat over the airy us where I want it <laughs> and I always like to take my highlighter right on my outer corner here and then up and then down kind of like in a weird C shape more like a seven and it just is really pretty when you turn your head to the side I love it, it feels very beachy or something so I shove it right in there and take it down 
It's a really nice multi-purpose glow. Like you can get a really natural effect with it or you can build it up a ton for it to be very blinding. But I love how sheer it is and it's very glossy like. It's just really, really nice. So now getting into blush, you guys know I like to switch it up pretty much on the daily. There's a few that I have been rotating through though and I'm gonna go through them. They're all pretty much pink. <laughs> I'm definitely in a pink phase. I think it's because I told myself pink didn't look good on my skin for years. And then a few months ago, I tried it and fell in love with it. Now I can't get enough. So I'm catching up lately. So this one has been pretty much an everyday favorite as of late. It's the classic Dior Backstage Rosy Glow blush. It's so, so nice. As well as the House Labs Hibiscus Haze. I find that the Dragon Fruit Days one, the one that's like a really bright, cool pink, can be a little bit too much for a date, but this has been a really nice option. I've also been all about the About Face Cheek Freak Blush Balm in the shade Laid. Really cute. I'll swatch them all in a second too. Or the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Happy. And I'm going to be using this because it's such a cute name too, but I'll give them all a swatch. They're different pinks. The Dior one doesn't swatch well on the back of my hand. It just looks like chalky. <laughs> it translates very differently on the cheek. So here are all of them. So this is the About Face Cheek Freak in Laid. The second one is Happy from Rare Beauty. This one is Hibiscus Haze from House Labs. And the last one is the Dior one. I'm going to be using Happy and sometimes I layer this one on top. Maybe I'll do that today. So I like to draw this one on because it's the mini size so I don't apply too much. And this one's a little bit kinder with its pigmentation. So I draw on little hearts like I used to and perfect for dates, you know, manifesting that love <laughs> through the makeup too. I'm actually going to blend it out with that brush I used for bronzer, the BK Beauty 111. And I bring the blush back, kind of overlapping the highlighter because I like the combination of those two products. It just makes like a, a glowy blush. And I like how it just meshes well with everything too. It doesn't look like Neapolitan ice cream, you know, like brown, white, and pink. <laughs> it's all one. I thought it kind of set down on my nose there, but that was a pass zit I had. Perfect little Rudolph zit. So here's the cheeks. I feel like I could go for a little bit more blush, so I am going to layer this one once this has a second to set down. And I'm going to apply it with this old uh, brush. I don't even know what it's from. BH Cosmetics. They're so cute, layered on top of one another. I'm happy with that amount now. That feels more balanced to me. <laughs> for the last step for my base, I'm taking my Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Feathery, just to set the center of my skin. I have been going for more matte finishes as of late, but I'm kind of bringing back the glowy look. Especially for summer, it's just a lot easier to wear and touch up throughout the day. I just kind of miss the glow. So I'm taking a little bit of this to lock it down, but still allow a pretty skin finish to shine. So now I'm going to quickly prime my eyes and do my brows off camera, so please enjoy the brow intermission. I feel like my voice is sounding so like nervous, but it's been so incredibly sad. It's so smoky where I live right now. Our province is so on fire. So we have one of the worst air qualities in the world right now. And I just am so affected by that. I have such a pounding headache and I feel like I don't have my normal breathing intake. I don't know. I feel like I have asthma again, like I did when I was a kid. <laughs> it's crazy. But for my eyes, I kind of do two variations. I'm gonna show you them because they're very, very, very similar. I start off with a neutral palette. This is one I've been loving. This is the NARS Laguna Quad. It's so cute. It kind of has everything you want for like a, everyday look. I'm going to be taking the matte shadow from this. I'm going to just put this in my crease and then I'm going to pat it all over my lid. Before I do that, I like to put a little bit of setting powder from my brow to my crease, just so I have 
some slip here. I don't want it to be so, so pigmented and opaque here. This is just going to help the shadow from really sticking down. And I kind of like to flick the shadow out a little bit just so that it kind of contours my eyes. This way it gives kind of a sexier silhouette, you know? Or sometimes I want to have kind of more doe eyes, so then I'll round it out out here. This is what I do most often. And then I'll take a different brush just to help pack it onto my lid. This is a Smith 235. I always forget about this brush, but it's so good at laying down shadow because it's kind of like a fluffy brush from this side, but then a flat brush on this one. So it's really a good two-in-one all over eye brush. And it also has a nice point to it, so you can really shape your eye the way you want. And I'm also going to take this same shadow all over my lower lash line. So it's super, super easy. You can do this very quickly. I feel like I got a little excited and I went a little more smoky than I usually do, but that's okay. You'll really be able to see what I'm doing here. I'm just taking a little bit more of the Kosas Cloud Set to just go on top, just to get an even more diffused look. So here's what I do most often. Just very soft, diffused eye, just one color all over the lid. Or sometimes I like to add a little flick of eyeliner to get kind of a more sexy silhouette again. So I'm going to do that on one eye so you can see what the differences are. And sometimes I like to go in with a little bit of a glittery shadow right in the center of my lid just to really bring out my eyes. This is when I have a little bit more time. <laughs> and I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in the shade 608 Limitless Brown. And I like to go in with this one because it goes over top of matte eyeshadow really, really nicely. It feels very powdery for pencil, so I think that's why it glides on so nice. And this pencil isn't as pigmented as other brown eyeliners, so I just like the softness of it, you know? And I'm taking my Smith 203 to kind of smudge that about. And then I take that glittery shadow. I'm using my Celestial Bodyography Glitter Pigment. It is just stunning. Look at that on my finger. I mean, I bet you already are. It's so eye-catching. Just take a little bit, and then I just press it and smudge it throughout the whole look. I kind of go over with the shadow again. I kind of like how it looks like it's coming from within a little. I think it's pretty. So this is the two different variations <laughs> of the eye look I do. Kind of like a day to night situation. Although this is more like my daytime dates. Let me know if you'd like to see like my nighttime date look because it's a little different. I'm just gonna add the liner and the glitter pigment to the side and I'll be right back. And I'm back with mascara on because I just, I didn't want to see my mascara face while I was editing this, okay? Sometimes that's why I do my mascara off camera. <laughs> but I used my waterproof Mac stack mascara and sometimes I like to add little falsies because I feel like guys love lashes I don't know but I don't know. I like I like how my eyes look today with just mascara but I have been using some of my false scare lashes that I don't have right here they're packed but I'll link them down below or throw in an image on screen or I have been using these Huda Beauty hoodie flares number 25 classics I've been using the natural chunks right here just something to add more wispiness to my lashes. Damn it, why am I so bad at with my mascara lately? I always, always, always put it on my lid. I'm gonna try to fix that. And it's hard with waterproof mascara because it tends to really stain, so I'm just gonna put on some more shadow on top of it just to help mask it a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. But here are the eyes all finished. I haven't been really highlighting my inner corner as much. I just like it blank a little. So now let's move on to lips, which I'm really excited to talk about. I've only been going in with two products. It's either been the Rare Beauty Lip Oils in one of these three shades or the Armani New Lip Maestro Satins. Specifically one color, but I wanted to show them to you guys because I've been so incredibly excited about these. These are kind of what inspired today's video because I just, I needed to talk about these and fit them into a video. I've just been so in love with the shade 01. It's right here. They're so nice. They're like a beautiful satin liquid lipstick with stunning colors and they stain as well. 
So here they are right there. The middle one doesn't stain as well, but this is the shade that I've been using pretty much every day. So that's number one. The second one was 02 and the last one was 10, that red one. So it's been these or the Rare Beauty ones in Hope, Wonder, or Happy, which I'll, I'll swatch them. So there's Happy, which would be a perfect match with the blush. Hope, which is my favorite out of the Rare Beauty lip oils, and Wonder, they're all pink. Surprise. Cute. And these, of course, stain too. I say a lip stain is a must for dates because if you're gonna be necking at the end of the night or something, you don't want it to get on him and you want your lips to stay intact, you know? You don't want it to smudge everywhere. <laughs> because by the time you're going to be necking, <laughs> the top layer will most likely be gone. So I'm going to line my lips with my one liner, multi liner from Tower 28 in the shade Fill Me In. That's what my family has been saying, fill me in. And I'm like, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> The one thing with lip stains is that if you're a chronic lip biter like me, it tends to stain the new skin a little funny. So I don't know how that's gonna go for me today because I, I, I've been biting. I've been gnawing on my bottom lip today. I don't know why. I think it's the smoke making me nervous. I think my instincts are kind of like, what are we doing? It's literally fire I'm trying to be in Delulu land, you know? And I'm going to go in with this one because I have to show it off to you guys. <laughs> It's just a really pretty color and a really party and a really pretty formula. And then my last step, which is almost my favorite step because it puts me into the mindset, is perfume. And I've been using the Kayali Vanilla 28. It's just my favorite vanilla perfume. It smells so good. If you get the chance to smell this, smell it. It's so good. <laughs> and I like to put quite a bit of this on. It always makes me sneeze though. I don't know why. So I, I can't breathe for a second. Damn it, it's gonna mess happen. It's gonna happen. I'm just fighting it. I'm fighting it so hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me a second. I forgot to show you the Rare Beauty stains, but you can see here that the Rare Beauty stains quite a bit better than the Armani ones, but yeah, there they are. <laughs> And here is my finished date makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see that nighttime version in the comments down below. I'll also link everything I used in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.